Hey guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So today for the coffee chat, I thought I would talk numbers. So a question I have been getting asked quite a bit lately, whether it is from people who are thinking about getting chickens, or people who maybe are new to having chickens, or honestly, people who are just curious, and that is the number of eggs versus number of hens ratio. Most frequently, the way this question is proposed to me is, I wanna have X number of eggs every single week. How many hens do I need to have for those number of eggs? Well, the short answer to that is, there is no short answer to that. The number of eggs that you get depends upon a number of different factors. First of all, let's talk about the breed of chickens that you have. Some breeds of chickens are much more um, known for their egg laying abilities. Some are described as prolific layers. Those are the hens that will likely give you an egg just about every single day and that's what people keep those breeds for specifically. So that is one factor. What breeds of chickens are you keeping? Another factor is the age of the chickens. While a hen will lay eggs for pretty much her entire life, only the first two to three years are very productive years. Once they get past the three year mark, their egg laying numbers tend to start dwindling down. Uh, lower and lower until some hens actually will completely quit laying eggs. So their age definitely plays a factor in that. Often people will keep hens that are dual purpose breeds, meaning they're heavyweight chickens that are good for meat, as well as their egg laying abilities. So what some people will do is raise up a group of chicks, keep them for their egg laying abilities, and then once they get to uh, the stage where they're not really laying eggs anymore, then they will butcher them for meat and raise up another batch of hens. And so that is something that some people will do. Um, we haven't quite reached that stage yet and we'll see what happens when it comes to that. So then something else that plays a factor in that is their diet. Are those hens able to free roam, free range, are they pastured, or are they staying inside a run where they have limited ability to have access to grasses and bugs and things like that. Is that flock of hens only being able to eat the feed that's given to them? What is their diet? If those hens have access to very nutrient-rich diets, then those hens will have all of the nutrients their body needs to create those eggs. On the occasion where they're not getting a healthy diet, if they're not getting everything that they need, their egg laying is going to go down. So that's another factor in that. Another thing that plays a factor is weather. What time of year is it? I've noticed that when we have a heat wave and it is absolutely miserable outside, my hens will lay in the shade, they'll spend most of their days sleeping in the hottest hours, as opposed to being out there scratching and eating and, and doing all the things that hens love to do. And on those days, my egg numbers do go down a little bit. Now in the winter time, there's two factors that play into that. First, you have the temperature, and when it is really, really cold out, those hens need more nutrients, they need more protein, they need extra things in their diet, because not only is their body needing nutrients for staying healthy and for creating eggs, but their body also needs the extra calories to stay warm. They need a little bit extra in the winter time, so the cold plays a factor. And then the other thing is light. Believe it or not, chickens need sunlight to lay eggs. They need vitamin D just as much as we need vitamin D. And so in the wintertime, when the days are really, really short and they're not necessarily getting as much light, their numbers might go down. It just happens. Some people will put artificial lighting in their chicken coops to increase the daylight hours. For the hens, I'll be honest with you, that is not something I like to do. Simply because my chickens are pastures, they are getting plenty of outdoor time. Yes, my numbers do go down just a little bit in the winter time, but not drastically. Some people have their hens completely stop laying eggs. Thankfully, that's not an issue I've had to deal with, but that does play a role in egg numbers for a lot of people. There is a ratio that you can kind of use to estimate 
uh, how many eggs that you will get per chickens. When all of the factors are the way they should be and when everything is going right with the weather and, and all of that, I look at my ratio as being a two-thirds to three-quarters ratio. For whatever number of hens I have, about two-thirds to three-quarters of that number will be the number of eggs that I get when everything is just right. So for instance, if I have 12 hens, then when everything is going well, I should be getting eight or nine eggs. It's kind of a two-thirds, three-quarter ratio. And that, for me, has been pretty consistent. Uh, in the summertime, when the weather is beautiful and everything is going great, I have, on occasion, had a 100% uh, ratio. That's pretty awesome, doesn't happen every day. But overall, that three quarters, two thirds ratio has, has been pretty consistent. Um, even in the winter time, when the weather is the worst, we do drop down a little bit. We've gone as low as about a 50%, you know, when it's really, really bad. That's usually a temporary situation, just when the weather is extremely bad, and then it jumps back up uh, when the weather improves. I've been, throughout the winter, getting about 18 eggs a day from my 31 laying hens. So I think that's a pretty good estimation of how many eggs you can expect from your hen. So I hope that answers all of your questions. If you have any other questions or comments on this, please leave them down below. I would love to hear from you. So there you go. That is today's coffee chat. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I hope the weather is improving for you. It's been gorgeous the past couple of days here in Northern Alabama. It's finally dried out a little bit. It's sunny and gorgeous. I'm going to be going to the animal shelter later to photograph the animals because tomorrow the rain comes back. So thanks for joining me today. My name is Constance. This is Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I will talk to you all next time.